Hi, my name is Nick. I'm a trainee at Professional Japanese Stager. So this is part 9 session of learning 100 kanji challenge. So if you missed the previous video, there's a link in the description below. Alright, let's just dive in. Here we go. Okay, today's first kanji. Station. Pull down. Across. Pull down. Across, across, and across, don't release the pin, and go to the bottom, then jump, then four lines, then uh, across, don't release the pin, and pull down, across, then sweep, sweep. This is station, and this one, outside, sweep. Across, don't release the pen and sweep, uh, slant out. Then pull down, slant out. And this one, sweep, across, across, and pull down. All right. And uh, don't confuse this kanji with this kanji we learned in the previous session. And this one is AM or PM. The, uh, the time in the PM or time. Okay, and this one is cow. Alright, so uh, the difference between these kanji is this line, this kanji time in AM or PM doesn't go over the top of the line, but this one going over. Alright, and this kanji station, onyomi is eki and kunyomi no, uh, no kunyomi, alright? And uh, this one, onyomi is gai, and, uh, and kunyomi is soto, or hazusu, take out, okay? And this one, uh, onyomi is gyu, and kunyomi is ushi. And, uh, this sentence, soto e no gai shutsu wa Hikaete kudasai. Hikaete kudasai means, uh, please do not. But in, in this Japanese culture, hikaeru means, uh, when you have a choice between, uh, yes and no, and you want to take this choice, yes, yes action. But, uh, considering for the other people, you take no action. So, uh, you want to take Yes, but uh, you you take no for the others. For example, if you want to do something and uh, you want to do something, but uh, you choose not to do for the others. So, uh, please do not. Okay, and guy should outside and get out, which means going out. And this, outside. So it's literally outside. So which means, uh, please do not go out to the outside. We have to do this in this situation, right? And this one, you new wo nomu, uh, cow, milk. So which means milk. And this kanji, drink. So drink milk. Okay. And I forgot to tell you, but the, on this kanji's radical is this part on the left side. This is called umahen. Okay, and this kanji's radical is this part on the left side is called tabu or tahem. Alright. Okay, the next one. Drink. Sweep and uh, slant out. Pull down. Across, don't release the pen and pull down. And Across, across, pull down, but don't release the pen, and go to the right, okay? Then, stamp. Then, sweep, across, don't release the pen, and uh, sweep. Then, sweep, sweep. This is drink. And the next one is old. Across. Pull down, across, 
pull down uh, uh pull down and across don't release the pen and pull down then across and next one is every sweep across uh pull down but a little making curve then don't release the pen across then across don't release the pen and go to the bottom by making curve then jump then sweep across okay this kanji's radical is this part left side this is called shokuhen right and uh this kanji's onyomi is in and kunyomi is nomu right and this one onyomi is ko and kunyomi has two two kunyomi one is furui and one is initiate right and this is an old style of reading this old kanji all right and this kanji's onyomi is mai and what why did i this uh wrote this bracket is uh this goto uh it doesn't count as this onyomi but we sometimes read this kanji as goto let me show you the examples so uh, this is called my kai every time but this one ikai means one time once so ikai goto we sometimes read ikai goto but depends on the people uh, they call they read this kanji ikai mai but uh, there's no you know uh differentiation or uh you know they're the same meaning okay ikai goto means every time you do thing once so every time right once you do it once you do it once you do it every time ikai goto all right and this one uh we call that in shoku ten all right so a uh, store in shoku drink and eat so the place you can eat in or uh you can order something food or a drink and you can take out uh that whole store i mean restaurants or a dining bar or every places that you can eat or drink we call that in shokuten we have the serious damage I mean, in the recession damage of uh, to the in shokuten, right? And uh, this kanji, this kanji means uh, thick, okay? And this kanji, old, thick, old, which means thick is big, right? It's kind of big, so big because it's thick, and uh old so which means old old time in uh you know the long past time and this one means uh old old time in old so which means past so uh very long time or uh you know the very very old time in the past or something okay okay the next one meet pull down across don't release the pen and uh, pull down then jump then sweep uh slant slant out and sweep slant out this is meat and that's next, next fish sweep uh, across, don't release the pen and slant in. Then pull down, across, don't release the pen and pull down. Across, across, pull down. Then four stamp. This is fish. And next one is eat. Sweep, sweep. 
pull down, across downward lift pen and pull down, across across, pull down downward lift pen and jump to the right, then sweep, starting from here, sweep. This is eat. And next one, horse. Pull down, across, pull down, across, across, and across, don't release the pen, and uh, go into the bottom, then jump, and for a stamp. This is horse, okay? Okay, so uh, this kanji, this kanji, onyomi is Niku and this kanji has no kunyomi, alright? And this kanji, if this kanji looks like has a radical that called lekka, this part, the bottom line, um, bo bottom one, okay? But this kan, when it comes to this kanji, this whole kanji is a radical, okay? Uh, and this radical is supposed to uh, represent in fire and, uh, you know, you can easily imagine like, you know, there's a fire and skewers and it's fish. And uh, this is looks like some sort of like a, an old Japanese style of barbecue, you know, uh, but uh, this kanji, whole this and uh, this whole kanji is a radical, okay? And uh, this kanji's onyomi is gyo and kunyomi is uo or Sakana, right? And this kanji, this kanji is also, this whole kanji is a radical, okay? And this one is too. And, uh, and also this one, this kanji is also, whole kanji is a radical, okay? And this kanji's onyomi is shoku or jiki. And this, uh, kunyomi is ku or taberu, right? But this ku means eat. And this taberu means also eat. So the difference between taberu and ku is uh, ku, only men can use this ku. So we have otoko kotoba and onna kotoba. Otoko means male and this one is female. And this kotoba means words. So uh, otoko kotoba, this is ku means uh, is otoko kotoba. So the only man can use this word, ku. Okay, so if the female, I mean, girls say this ku, for example, uh, niku wo ku, right? If the female says niku wo ku, it's kind of strange. It, it, it means alright, but, uh, it's kind of strange, okay? And uh, this onna kotoba, we we have the specific onna kotoba, but uh, the most of the words are you know common. I mean, both both of the sex can use any words, but this ku is for otoko kotoba, all right, for men. Okay, and this one, uh, this kanji's onyomi is ba. And kunyomi is uma. Alright, so, uh, these words, this is gyoniku means meat, fish, so which means fish meat. Alright, and this one, horse meat. It makes sense, right? Alright, now you've just mastered 90 of 100 kanji, and here's the question of the day. Anata wa mainichi benkyo shimasu ka? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Arigato.